Hi there, I'm Jason with Florida Solar Design Group, and I've been asked to clarify our Solar Hybrid Electric Pool Heating System, or CHEF for short. The concept of CHEF is simple. We take an electric heater, either an existing one or a new one, it's an electric heat pump efficient pool heater, and we estimate how much electricity that will use on an annual basis, and then we calculate how many solar panels you'll need to offset that utility electricity that you'll be burning. Now. This is in stark contrast to a traditional solar pool heater, which is simply black plastic panels on the roof that we send water up to, it heats up, and it comes back to your pool. So the question is, why the shift from traditional solar pool heating to a chef electrical pool heating, and why now? Jason. I'm the principal solar designer and licensed contractor at Florida Solar Design Group. I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible. There is a more in-depth discussion that I've done on this and I'm going to link it down in the description below. So if you want to look at the whole story, um, you can do that. But um, today we're just going to talk about the basics. So why Chef versus traditional solar pool heating? It really comes down to two things. It's performance and price. The performance on a traditional solar pool heater, remember we're just sending water to the roof, it's coming back down, and we gain as much heat as we possibly can. Now, that works great when it's really sunny outside, there's not much wind, and uh, hey, it works great in the summer, believe me. But in the winter, um, when you need to heat the pool the most is when it's most challenging. So, and that's the case for every pool heater because the pool is losing heat as it's being heated. Um, it's, it's constantly losing heat to the atmosphere. So with a traditional solar pool heater, you're stuck with what you can get with the weather. So if it's a cloudy day, you're not gonna get much performance. If it's raining, you're not gonna get any performance. And if you have a period of bad days in a row, then you're gonna be stuck on a good day waiting for the pool to heat up. And that's gonna be really challenging for a solar pool heater to get it to temperature in a timely fashion for you to enjoy your pool. With an electric heater, you are only limited by how many hours you run it. So, of course, you know, in worse conditions, like colder conditions, it's not gonna perform as well as it does in hot conditions. It'll take longer for your pool to heat up. But the point is, with an electric pool heater, you can heat your pool to any temperature you want in almost any condition, at least any condition where you're most likely to swim. So we do get a lot of people that contact us, sometimes our clients, sometimes others that say, hey, you know, solar pool heating, it just, it's great, it does its thing, it, it heats the pool, but it doesn't quite get it where we want it to be, when we want it to be. For people like that, that aren't willing to live with just whatever the weather will give them, an electric pool heater or a gas pool heater is really the only choice. So an electric pool heater is way more efficient than gas, so that's kind of the best way to go if you're not gonna go with a traditional solar pool heater. So let's talk about cost. And the question comes up, why haven't we been recommending this for years? Why didn't people just put in solar panels and use them to offset the heat pump uh, heating costs over an annual period, um, you know, years ago? And it really comes down to the economics of it. Solar pool heaters have continued to increase in price over the years because increase in plastic costs and the relative cost of labor and all the other components. And solar electric panels have plummeted in price. So we've hit this kind of crossing point where it really makes sense to do a solar electric system with an electric heater. And if you have an existing electric heater, it's even more beneficial because you already have that component, you don't have to buy that. And if you don't have that component, we're actually giving that to you at our cost to kind of sweeten the deal and make the, make the numbers work. So what ends up happening here is you're gonna pay roughly the same price for a solar electric system as you would for a solar traditional solar pool heater. And you get a tax credit on the solar electric system. So that's how we get to that kind of even crossing point. So if you can take the tax credit on a solar electric system, and you have or buy a solar a heat pump pool heater, then you're gonna be kind of evenly priced and you get way more performance along with all the other benefits that I talk about in my longer video. So I encourage you to watch that, but that's the gist of it. We're, we're just talking about performance and price and giving you the option. In some cases, a solar pool heater might be completely adequate for you, it might be the better option for you. 
In some cases, a solar hybrid electric pool heater is gonna be better. Sometimes maybe a combination of both might even be great. So uh, really it comes down to your, your choice and it's important that you understand what the options are and that's why we offer it.